aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome back to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle now with your true, of course, this character. And we are going up against Hannah Panna, who is also a Swedish Pokemon player, and uh, her team looks really, really interesting. Mainly because a Garbodor is there, one really can't go about you know, not mentioning that a Garbodor on the field. Aside of that, we have a Dianchi, Crodont, and em Molga, which is just awesome also, uh, Ribambi, and Verision. So from the get-go here, my team is as follows, you know, the same as you as yesterday. So, um, a bit nerfed, but I do believe my team overall is slightly stronger than my opponents, mainly because of the speed it's representing. So, from the get-go here, I felt my opponent might very well leave with either Molga or uh, Dianchi. So, Mudstail is actually going to be an excellent choice of leading with, though it only is a 4 stop by Verisian, and depending on the set, could be very, very antagonizing. Mudstail is doing fairly well against everything. Uh, even against Crawdon, it's not actually KO'd by a life version, so that's actually something to keep in mind. Uh, outside of that, I really just wanted to actually force myself um, to be as offensive as possible with um, Mudstale, Vigavolt, and Tarantrum in mind, since it can do the most work here. But things I want to watch out for is Verisian. Verisian always is an issue. And since I have speed everything in my team, it's going to be the threat for me, depending on what set it is. And the rest seems kind of okay. I should be able to do fairly well. So, yeah, <laughs> with all this said, let's of course go into the match. So, from the get-go here, my opponent is going to lead up with the Dianchi, which is really, really, really good, since, of course, Rygard is Assault Vested, so it should be able to take any kind of pressure from Dianchi. The only thing I'm fearing is if it's a Sash set, so you can go both Stealth Rocks and actually getting uh, Moonblast off Omni. So, she just decided to stay in, so the Focus Sash idea definitely did ponder my head as I go for the Heavy Slam, and uh, it's not Sashed. It just drops, and that was incredible. Even though Dianchi isn't a big threat for me, it's still a very, very tough Pokemon to be dealing with. So we're just gonna set up an Emolga here. I was feeling that, you know, this thing doesn't learn Grass Knot, and we're gonna see Substitute. Uh, I say it in a very to go for Rock Slide, I wanted to see what it's, what it's all about, basically. As um, Rock Slide, of course, is gonna break the sub, but since we now see sub, we know that this Pokemon is a real threat, and we can't let it set up. I need to keep going for Rock Slide. Uh, also, fair warning, bit of a lag here as I was recording. I need to do something about my PC. It's um, it, it's not well. <laughs> I kind of feel that. Don't worry though, it's a short time race here. But anyway, I'm going to be forced to switch out. I'm going to switch in Vicavolt, feeling that you know it's most likely an offensive variant, even with the Leaf Guard or um, the stamina boost in my Leaf Blade still does a fair amount of damage, as we see Calm Mind. And this was big. This was definitely you know I felt that this. She could set up against me, uh, she doesn't know if I expect something like that, and I am I am leftovers, I'm not invested in special attack, I should still be able to do a fair amount of damage, as uh, Emolga comes in here, and this Bug Buzz does so much, it definitely showcases how incredible Vigavolt is, because I am in a range now where I can kill her, uh, she goes with Substitute again, which I felt was really surprising, but she did tell me afterwards that she forgot that Sunmood does go through Substitutes, so we're gonna kill him and um, Emolga through the substitute, which is really unfortunate for Hannah. Uh, that was a good situation for her actually setting up if that had been transpiring. So anyway, she's gonna bring Ense, feeling that it's very likely she will go for a Quiver Dance and I'm screwed if that thing starts setting up. I'm just gonna bring Mudstill back again here or Rygard and basically try to take any hit from this because even at plus one, Energy Ball is not a KO unless she is some weird life or modest set that is. As she actually goes for Moonblast over Energy Ball, which is good because I can definitely take this. And um, we're just gonna go for Heavy Slam, knock it out, and uh, we see Life Orb. So, most likely it's a timid set. Had it been modest, it would be much, much closer of KOing me, but I still was in the safe area. It should be noted that had my much still been whittled down, uh, it'd been very likely that that um, <laughs> Rebombi would have swept me. So anyway, Aramis comes back in, and I'm yet again gonna switch into Vika Vault because I need to do that. I really, really need to just soak any kind of hits here. As she goes for Giga Drain, Giga Drain doesn't do too much to us, which is awesome. As uh, the only thing we can do from here is go in for a Bug Bus, I do believe. Even though she has Garb Order, I do believe Bug Bus should still do a fair amount of damage, and I don't want this thing setting up in my face because a Call Mind version is also very, very, very dangerous. As she switches in Claudia, which would just get flattened by the Bug Bus. 
So a bit surprised about that. You definitely had an honest chance of setting up with Claw the Claw um Clawlister? No. What's it called? Cronhaunt. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm just knocking it out as Trashy comes in. Um, at the moment, I felt, you know, Thunderbolt will do a fair amount of damage. Uh, she goes for a gunk shot, and this does over 50%. I am a defensive Vika Volt, and this is a Life 4, probably Rock Polish Garboder, who just annihilates the Vika Volt pretty much. So at this point, I had to switch out, and seeing that gunk shot is her go to move, I'm just gonna switch in, of course, Tyrantrum. And then try to go for a wrap up by going for a Dragon Dance. And she misses the Gunk Shot, which is unfortunate. Mainly because of the amount of damage that the Drain Punch is doing here. It was very likely that the Gunk Shot combination with Drain Punch would have been enough to KO my Tarantrum, actually. Uh, now that I look at it. So I was probably a dumb play on me, to be honest. But I really, really want to try to preserve a potential 6 0 going on here. So we get the Dragon Dance off, and now I'm just gonna lock myself into Outrage, and that's basically gonna be the game because Nor, Garbodor, or the Verizion, which is of course still around, are, aren't able to take this hit. So Aftermath's gonna kick in, which is just awesome. Offensive Garbodor, people, I'm just saying that 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 is a thing. Like, that thing really did a good amount of damage. I'm feeling that I should probably appreciate it more than I did. So, <laughs> Aramis, of course, the Verizion's gonna come in. And it's gonna fall just the same as, um, yeah, we won clearly here, a <laughs> 6 0 game. And uh, before, you know, even anybody says anything, you know, I only showcases because I won 6 0, no, definitely not, though, a little bit. And definitely keeping the lumber around there just to kind of rub it in that I won kind of felt unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, the reason I wanted to showcase this game is because I had a lot of fun with that sense that actually Hannah was bringing. I really wanted to showcase that. So yeah, a quick rundown here basically. Uh, I really have to of course give credit to Hannah when it comes to the sets she was bringing because my team was clearly a lot stronger than Hannah's team were. Uh, that's not gonna go away. I think Mud still give her the amount of pressure that she wasn't necessarily ready for. Um, if you look at Ribombi for example after one Quiver Dance could very well be sweeping my team actually because Espeon, <laughs> beware, and Tarantrum cannot take a Moonblast from that thing, and that's or you know it's stab move with of course Bug Two with Bug Bus, so there there is a big potential here for Rebound B. So even though it was a very straightforward win in my side, there are situations here where Hannah could have actually wrapped it up. She may or may not play the, that card a bit too early. She should definitely whittle down Mudsill some more. And uh, outside of that, Verisiana, of course, um, could potentially sw actually set up versus the Vicavol in the beginning. I had no way of actually tackling that since Verisiana is so fast. And of course, Offensive Guard Border was just, wow, that's something else. And my god, did it do damage. That's incredible. So, yeah, with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as I said here, it was very, very good things going on here. Just didn't, the situation didn't transpire in Hannah's situation, which it should have probably done actually, because the team itself is very interesting. I am all for substitute Emolga and <laughs> the offensive guard board is just wow. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway, even though this was a bit of a short video. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, of course, with my next battle. Until then, of course, take care, everyone. Bye.